Guys, in today's episode, we're going to be doing a $100 Pokemon card challenge, but since Scarlet and Violet is the newest set, we are going to be using all of the budget on brand new Scarlet and Violet cards. Check that out. The local card shop had everything you need on release day, and y'all already know I have to grab the Maridon ETB, so let's go ahead and open all of this up. And this right here is everything that I picked up from my local card shop that is Scarlet and Violet related because it is the newest set. And bro, I'm not going to lie, for $100, this does not seem like a lot of stuff to open. But we're going to make the best of it. And hopefully, we get a lot of bangers. And just like that, guys, we are back from the $100 shopping spree of Scarlet and Violet. And right in front of me is every single product that I bought. And I'm not going to lie... $100, it looks like I didn't really buy much. And that's because Pokemon cards are expensive, my guy. So I basically just tried to get the most product I can for 100 bucks. So let's just go ahead and dive right into the opening itself. And if you guys are excited and want me to do more videos like this, just smash that like button right now. And if you guys are new to the channel, y'all already know what to do. Subscribe and join the Google Army and welcome, and if you guys leave a comment, y'all know the drill, you could be featured in a video like that guy, as well as this guy, you feel me? So let's get down to business. All right guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and start things off with these check lane blisters, you feel me? They were only $4 a pop, which is cheaper than a sleeved booster pack. And with these check lane blisters, you get a promo as well as a koi, my guy. So let's crack these open, shall we? A few moments later. So the first thing you get is obviously some jumbo Pokemon coins. Check that out. They are absolutely adorable. And then next up, here are the promo cards. And this is how the hollow should have been in the set itself. You see the sparkles that these promos have? The actual holographics should have gotten those sparkles it would have made them a hundred times better my guy it looks so good but check out these promo cards that artwork is absolutely sick and then you obviously get a code card in each check lane and then we got ourselves another holographic right there and another code card for the ghoul army so we got a temporary star of the show check that out it's just a promo card and hopefully we can get some heat within these first booster packs guys so let's get it man let's get it we got an that's how you say the pokemon's name bro that's how you say it a hundred percent my guy we got ourselves a torkoal shout out to torkoal king's gambit we got a toad school and we got a king's gambit hollow everybody check that out that is a very strange evolution i'm not gonna lie i feel like bisharp was already perfect you feel me i don't really mess with the evolution itself too much if i'm being 100 honest but if you guys are a fan of that pokemon let me know in the comments down below it's whatever to me i don't hate it but i don't love it you feel me so second pack second pack guys let's see if these check lane blisters can come in clutch my guy let's get it baby we got an experience share we got a wiglet magnemite and there we go we got ourselves that bacon ex everybody check that out and on top of that it is indeed a full art pokemon card everybody check that out we got some delicious looking bacon bro i could just hear this card sizzling my guy but on top of that we also got a new star of the show everybody check that out we got the oinkster but now we're moving on into the booster bundle one eternity later let's do a money shot bro let's do a money shot even though it's literally just booster packs that's literally all that's in here we got six boosters let's get it baby we're not gonna waste any time 
Let's see if it's better than the check lane. So far from the check lane blisters, we got a full REX card, which is actually really good. You feel me? That's actually a decent pull rate out of two packs. Here we go. We got a Capsa Kid. We got a Potty Art. And we got another RK9 EX, bro. Is this card not rare or something? Look at that, bro. Look at that. We got ourselves the energy and the code card, but look at this Arcanine, bro. That is such a gorgeous card. I'm not going to lie. Scarlet and Violet base set is probably the best base set to ever be made. You feel me? If you agree, let me know. But if you disagree, let me know what's a better base set. You feel me? Because other base sets are so boring you feel me like xy base was boring there wasn't many you know exciting hits in there black and white base literally had two full arts one secret rare that's it you feel me sun and moon base don't even get me started bro it was boring literally and scarlet and violet just takes the cake you feel me it's fresh it's new it's refreshing even though you know ex's is back so technically that's not new it still feels refreshing and i like it you feel me so we got the rock chest plate we got the primate and we got the professor's research. I absolutely dislike this professor, bro. Flintstone looking professor. I'm not going to lie, my guy. Where are my fruity pebbles, bro? Let me stop. Let me stop roasting the professor because after all, if you guys played the games, very, very sad backstory when it comes to the professors. You feel me? So here we go. We got the Wub Trio. We got Varub, and we got ourselves a Halucha. Okay, so we got another Halucha to make up for the one that I ripped in the last episode I uploaded of Scarlet and Violet. Okay, so now we're hitting the Hollows hard. All we got is the RK9, nothing more. And I'm not going to lie, I feel like I don't know how to hold these Scarlet and Violet booster packs. You feel me? I feel like I keep spoiling what's the last card bro i don't know what it is my guy we got ourselves the crocodile absolutely love that pokemon we got a oh my gosh we got the skull villain character art or art rare not character because it's a pokemon not a trainer but look at that bro that is so sick check that out man i'm a huge skull villain fan bro absolutely love this pokemon bro fire and grass that's a dope combo i don't care about the weaknesses it's a dope combo bro check that out you love to see it man you love to see it but it's not going to take down the rk9 what's after this card though we got ourselves a don dozo everybody holographic here's the code card throw that to the side we gotta sleeve up the heat so we got two packs left in the booster bundle let's see if we can get another special character art you feel me because y'all know what happened to the last character art that we pulled here on the channel i don't want to talk about it bro i just don't i have to move past it bro i have to move past it so here we go we got a team star grunt we got a pomo we got a starly and we got the ndd hollow everybody we got a classic holla 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 graphic everybody check that out final pack though final pack from the booster bundle i'm not gonna lie the booster bundle was kind of mid. It was kind of mid, you feel me? Maybe we can get like some last pack magic or something along those lines, guys. We got the team star, we got the generator, and we got another hollow. A duplicate hollow at that. Speaking of Don Dozo, we're moving on into the three pack blisters. And then we'll end things off with the ETB. So let's get it, shall we? Eventually. Alrighty y'all, so here are the fire promo cards. We got an RK9 Hollow to go with our RK9 EX, which is absolutely dope. Here's the code card. We got ourselves another promo card. We already pulled that card in regular, you know, set form, but now we have the promo itself. And then obviously two blisters equals six packs. Let's see if it's better than the booster bundle. Here we go, guys. Here we go. 
Hopefully, Lord Helix can bless these packs. We're not going to be praying to Lord Arceus this time because I feel like we have not been showing much love to Lord Helix, guys. So here we go. What do we got in this pack? We got a Vivalon, we got a Mary, and we got the Bennett EX Full Art, everybody. Look at that. This Pokemon is absolutely amazing, and I love it. You feel me? Absolutely love this Pokemon, bro. I absolutely love the zipper on its mouth. It is just so dope. But it's not going to take down the RK9, even though it's a beautiful full art. You feel me? And that's actually a nice-looking full art, bro. I'm not going to lie. Pokemon actually is low-key redeeming themselves with the backgrounds that they're putting on full arts, bro. Low-key. We got the Nest Ball, we got the Grievard, we got the Chansey, and we got a Slowbro Regular Hollow. I was about to say Regular Rare, but that does not exist anymore in Scarlet and Violet, guys. Which is a good thing, you feel me? Because no one is getting dud packs anymore, you feel me? Literally, no one is getting dud packs. So let's see what we got right here. We got Silicobra, and we got a Maridon Hollow, everybody. Check that out out absolutely love the look of electric types with the silver border i already said that before but it's true bro it looks clean it looks sleek and it looks good the color with the silver it actually pops so here we go what do we got in this pack y'all we got zangoose and oh my gosh i honestly forgot that this pokemon was in the set but then again, Char Cadet was in the set, so obviously the evolutions had to be in the set as well. That is so nice, bro. Even the red looks good with the silver borders, bro. I actually dig that. So two packs left from these three-pack blisters, and it is definitely very underwhelming, but maybe that will change with this pack. We got a Shroomish, Saviper. And we got another Professor's Research Hollow, everybody. Okay, now we're in the red zone, guys. We are in the red zone with this final pack. Can we get some redemption? Can we get some redemption, guys? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's inside? We got the olive tree, bro. We got the olive tree. Here's the code card before I throw it away. All right, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried, but at least we have this ETB remaining. Let's get it. Uh. Okay, guys, so the best thing about these ETBs is you actually get a promo card in future Scarlet and Violet ETBs. It does not have to be a Pokemon Center exclusive or anything along those lines or a special holiday set to get a beautiful promo card. Let's just go ahead and open this one up because it's actually my first, did I just bend it? I think I just bent it. Guys, I am not opening up the next one. I just bent my Maridon promo card. But look at that art, man. Look at the crease. Oh my gosh. Did that just happen, bro? Did that just happen? Ignore the crease, guys. Ignore the crease. Appreciate the beautiful art, please. That's crazy, though. I actually bent the promo card. Did I bend it or was it already bent? I honestly don't know, guys. But then, obviously, you get yourself nine booster packs instead of your average eight, which is actually always nice to see more packs. And let me quickly show you my chase cards for this set. I want Great Tusk, Iron Treads, I want the Coridon, Maridon, I want both of them as well as their gold versions, and then obviously I want all three of the character special illustration arts, even though I literally ripped this one. We need all of them. So let's get to the packs, guys, and you let me know if all of these products were worth the $100 price tag, you feel me? I'm honestly not sure because the pools are a little rough. I'm not gonna lie. So we got Ralts and we got a Professor's Research, but this time we got the male version. Check that out. So we're gonna put that right there. I think that's our first time pulling that card. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember pulling it at all. So second pack. Ooh, I think I see something. 
we got never mind never mind we got ourselves a houndstone hollow everybody check that out let's go ahead and put that right there we got another pack to open up which means we have more hope hopefully fingers crossed bro fingers crossed there's some heat in this pack fingers crossed nope we did get a rev of room at least though at least we got a hollow that i've never pulled yet which is always nice to see because y'all know for scarlet and violet i'm actually trying to complete the entire set of these you know brand new pokemon cards that are coming out because i started very late for sword and shield like i wasn't collecting master sets until like late sword and shield so i was kind of too late because there was way too many sets to keep up with so scarlet and violet is a fresh restart in doing master sets you feel me which i am gonna try my best to make it happen so what do we got in this pack guys we got a Santaconda and we got the worst starter ever you feel me it doesn't even deserve to be on the pool pile we're gonna put it with the bulk you feel me because that's where it belongs so here we go here we go guys i believe we're halfway or more than halfway what do we got what do we got we got a cloth hollow everybody we got a cloth hollow and a code card so here we go we got four packs left guys four packs left this etb is rough this etb is absolutely rough here we go please please nope we got another hollow guys we got another hollow are hollows the new regular rare probably yes because you're going to be getting a hollow in every single pack so it's basically going to be worth as much as like a common or uncommon card i'm not gonna lie so what do we got in this pack right here we got a launcher art rare finally we're getting some heat bro look at that look at that and we got the Screlp right there on the background i like that i actually love this pokemon more than clauncher I'm, I'm gonna be 100 honest i don't care for clauncher but it's still a nice piece i can appreciate you know good artwork when i see it so check that out what's behind this clauncher though we got a bag it's out ex Ugh! yo that looks ugly why is it cut off like that like the the dark shade oh i don't like that bro i don't like that i'm be 100 honest guys yo i do like the sparkles though i do love you know that star pattern that's actually a great addition but you can't really see it when you pull the card bro you literally have to like tilt it to see the star pattern like looking straight up I did not know it had that pattern. I thought it was only promo cards, bro. But look at that. I don't like that dark shade, man. I just don't. It's a beautiful card. Don't get me wrong. Magnezone is goaded. I love the Pokemon, but wow. That is low-key disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. So let's just keep it rolling. We got two packs left. I can't dwell on that EX card forever. You feel me? We got a Krogunk. Check that out. We got my boy Krogunk in the cut. We got a rock chest plate, cloth, and we got the Toxicroak EX. Our Krogunk officially evolved, you feel me? So look at that. That centering is so bad, but I don't really care about things like that. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't care about that. It's still a beautiful piece. Look at that. I love the orange background. I'm not going to lie. That's actually really dope. But this right here is our final booster of today's video guys of the 100 dollars scarlet and violet challenge let's see what's inside guys let's see what's inside please be some heat guys please here we go here is the code card guys it's upside down you got to work for it here we go guys here we go final pack of the video i'm actually holding the cards properly that's a miracle come on we got the electric generator we got the Flamigo. We got the Rare Candy. And the final card, guys, is... <laughs> it's a Cyclozar Hollow, everybody. 
dope Pokemon, don't get me wrong, but it is not what I was expecting, y'all. Check that out. We ended things off with the Hollow, so let's check out all of the pools that I got for a hundred bucks. Alrighty, guys, just look at all of these Hollows that I got from today's opening. Yo, okay, not the Skull Villain, not the Skull Villain, but look at all of these Hollows, bro. There is no way. There is no way I got this many hollows in today's opening. That's why I said holographics are basically going to be worth less than your average, you know, reverse card or anything along those lines, which kind of hurts for people like me that like to trade in their bulk for a booster box or something along those lines. You feel me? So that's a ton of hollows, guys. And for the pools themselves, surprisingly enough, I didn't really get that many hits, bro. Check this out. We got one, two, three, actually not counting the promo. We still got two, three, four, five, six, seven ultra rare pulls out of all those packs I opened up. Don't get me wrong. I love all of these pools. I literally don't have any of these cards except the RK9 EX. So I'm very grateful to add these to the collection. Without further ado, guys, let me know what you think about this $100 challenge. Was it worth it or did I have some bad luck? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.